Hi everyone and welcome to my talk on our paper Devising Career Recommendations with Neural Pair Collaborative Filtering. It's a joint work with Kamrun, Jikian, Dr. Pan and my mentor Dr. Foles. Uh, this talk is about fairness in machine learning which is the concern that the biases inherent in data can lead the behavior of uh, machine learning algorithms to discriminate against certain populations. Let's look into some real world examples of unfairness. There was a very influential uh, article uh, published in ProPublica in 2016 uh, on a system called Compass. It's an algorithmic tool for predicting risk of reoffending and used for bail and sentencing decisions across the US. The ProPublica study found that the Compass system is biased since the algorithm predicts more than twice uh, higher risks to African American, but actually they did not reoffend. Another example is a news on AI recruiting tool which was developed by Amazon. The idea was to use this tool to uh, select uh, applicants automatically um, based on their resumes. But they found that the tool is biased against women. Uh, the good thing is Amazon realized this was happening and they never deployed this tool in the real world system. Gender diverse job platform Jing, which is similar uh, to LinkedIn, is uh, found to rank less qualified male candidates uh, higher than more qualified female candidates. Inequality in education is another motivation of our work. An earlier study illustrated that the screening process of a medical school in London was highly biased against minorities. In a more recent work, women accounted for only 18% of the bachelor degrees uh, in computer science. And in a separate study, women hold a disproportionately low share of STEM degrees, particularly in engineering field. To bridge this gap, our interventions are crucial to support the economic competitiveness and level of innovation. Our goal is to address the disparities in AI-based career counseling. Recommender systems can reinforce uh, the disparities or potentially help to mitigate them. Since a, a growing proportion of human interactions are digitized, social media data is readily available to support personalized recommendations as long as the bias issues are adequately corrected. We envision an ML based career counseling tool that makes personalized data driven recommendations regarding important career choices and ensures that the recommendations do not make harmful stereotypes. The recommender system research community has begun to consider uh, fairness issues. For example, Xtrand et al. analyzed the popularity and demographic biases of recommender systems. Yao et al. proposed fair recommendation model by penalizing the algorithm for disparate distribution. Kamishima et al. tried to ensure fairness by making recommended items independent from protected attributes. Unlike previous works, we specifically study bias in career recommendations and develop a method for fair collaborative filtering on social media. Our contributions were uh, we investigate gender bias in collaborative filtering model uh, trained on social media data. We develop neural fair collaborative filtering method. It's a practical technique to mitigate gender bias in sensitive items such as college measure or career recommendations. It achieves accurate pre uh, predictions while addressing sensitive data sparsity. For example, typically users have only one or two college measures or occupations. Finally, we perform extensive experiments to show both fairness and accuracy benefits. Before moving into more details on our method, let's discuss the problem statement. The objective function of implicit feedback problem can be defined using this object, uh, this uh, equation, where chi represents the interaction between user and item, and chi minus represent uh, negative instances, um, which can be all unobserved interactions or a subset of unobserved interactions. Uh, why? UI is the predicted output of the model, which is one when there is an interaction, otherwise zero. Our assumptions are items can be divided into non-sensitive and sensitive. Non-sensitive items can be Facebook pages where user preferences may be reasonably influenced by their gender or uh, races. This part of the data is typically large. On the other hand, sensitive items may be the user's occupation provided in their social media profiles. Typically, every user may be associated with only a single occupation and sensitive item recommendations should be unrelated to the user's protected attribute. Here, the big challenge is data sparsity in the observed user sensitive item interactions. 
he at all proposed um, neural collaborative filtering method which replaces the matrix factorization with a multi-layer neural network where user and item are one hot encoded and mapped into embedding layer to learn the, their latent space. Finally, underlying DNN model uh, used the user and item latent vectors to predict the um, implicit feedback. Uh, it shows a state-of-the-art recommendation performance, but there is no fairness interventions in the model. We consider two fairness metrics. First one is differential fairness, which was proposed by our group previously. Uh, in this uh, metric, an AI or ML system is absolutely differentially fair in a framework with protected attributes and data distributions if it satisfies uh, these ratios, where PM, theta uh, are the probabilities with respect to data and the mechanism. The key idea is the ratios of probabilities of outcomes bounded for any pair of values of protected attributes. Absolute unfairness is the other fairness metric we have used. Uh, it measures the differences in absolute estimation error across uh, uh, disadvantaged and advantaged users. This is our proposed neural pair collaborative filtering method, with, uh, which we use to mitigate gender bias in career recommendation. The main components are an NCF model, retaining user and non-sensitive item uh, embeddings, and then devising the user embeddings. Finally, we fine tune the model for sensitive item recommendations with a fairness penalty term. The DNN under this model is defined as similar as the neural collaborative filtering model. We'll show the value of each component with an ablation study later. Um, in the first step of our method, NCF is trained uh, to predict users' interactions with non sensitive items via back propagation. Um, no fairness interventions in this step. This leverages plentiful non sensitive data to learn user embeddings of the user's preferences and network weights, but it may also introduce demographic bias due to correlations with demographics, such as liking the Barbie doll face typically correlates with users' gender. Our aim is to leverage the variable signal of users' preferences for improved sensitive item recommendations, but we also want to address the problems with it regarding bias. In the second step, the pretend user embeddings from step one are debiased. For this task, we adopt a very recent work of attenuating bias in word vectors by Dev et al. First, we compute group specific bias direction for female users by taking average all the female users' uh, vectors. We do same thing for the male users, then compute overall gender bias vector using uh, the difference between the female and male vector. Finally, we devise each user embedding by subtracting their component to the direction of the bias vector BB. In the third step, we transfer the devised user embeddings and pretend DNN parameters to a model for recommending sensitive items. The model is fine tuned for this task. Uh, with the added fairness penalty to the objective function to address a second source of bias, which is demographic bias in the sensitive items. We construct fairness penalty by computing the per sensitive items uh, differential fairness. Finally, we use back propagation to fine tune the model by minimizing this objective function, where L is the typical loss function of implicit feedback, R is the fairness penalty term, uh, lambda represents tuning parameter, that balances between the accuracy and fairness of the model. This is the pseudocode of our method. The most of the part of this uh, algorithm I have already discussed in previous slides, so I will not go over it again. We also consider two variants, which are simplifications of our method uh, as a baseline to show the benefit of each component in uh, our NFCF model. First one is NFCF embed. This variant only device user embeddings and since there is no additional fairness penalty, this algorithm converges faster. Second variant is projection-based collaborative filtering. An NCF model is trained, and then we devise user embeddings. And finally, we use a classifier um, on the devised user embeddings to predict the sensitive items. Um, here, there are no fine-tuning to address overfitting or fairness penalty-based bias correction. For experiments, we use public data movie lens, where Movies are the non-sensitive item and users' occupations are the sensitive items. We also use the Facebook data, which was collected for my personality project with users' consent. 
Here, Facebook pages are non-sensitive data and uh, pre-regulated uh, college measures of the users are the sensitive uh, items. We use several baseline. As typical baseline, we use MF with or without pretrain, NCF with or without pretrain. We use also a classifier based uh, method. Uh, finally, we used Bayesian probabilistic matrix factorization via MCMC. As fair baselines, we used Yao et al. proposed matrix factorization with uh, absolute, uh, absolute unfairness based uh, penalty term. Uh, we also used resampling for balance, where we basically uh, gender balance the trained data before learning the collaborative filtering models. At first, we validate our model choices. Um, first, we compare the pre-training task performance. NCF had substantially and consistently showed better performance compared to MF uh, on the pre-training task. In fine-tuning performance, uh, in terms of the ranking score NDCG, uh, we find that the NCF with pre-trained had the best performance over the other baselines, and our proposed method performed approximately similarly to uh, this uh, to this baseline model. We also visualize the embedding of debiasing. Here we show the PCA projections of the male and female vectors before and after the linear projection-based debiasing embedding methods. We can see that male and female were very different in their direction and magnitude before the debiasing. But after devising, uh, male and female uh, shows uh, similar nature in their direction and magnitudes. We also conduct an ablation uh, study um, by removing each component of the method. Our findings are a large degradation of the performance of NFCF when pretraining was removed or NCF was replaced by matrix factorization. Removing the devised embedding method led to better scores. Uh, but it increased the gender bias. We get similar uh, results uh, when we learn the model without fairness penalty. Um, finally, we co uh, compare our met uh, proposed method uh, for mitigating gender bias. In the first experiment, we compare our proposed method with all the fair baselines in terms of NDCG. Uh, it shows that our method clearly outperforms all other baselines fair baselines and the second best was uh, the another variant projection based cf in this table we show career recommendations on mobilence and nfcf was the fairest recommender model in terms of both fairness metric uh, nfcf with pre-trained performed based in the ranking metrics our proposed model was as good as nfcf with uh, pre-trained model in terms of ranking metrics it also mitigate gender bias we get similar trend of result on a Facebook dataset. In this experiment, we showed the disparity in gender distributions for 10 example careers and college measures um, for datasets and top one recommendations by NFCF model. Uh, we found that NFCF decreased the percentage of women from home of women for homemaker from 97% to 50% on movie lens, and it increased percentage of women from 27% to 48% for computer science on Facebook data. In a qualitative experiment, uh, we show that the top one career and college measure uh, to each test male and female user via NFCF and a typical model. NFC was found to recommend similar careers to both male and female users on average. The typical model encoded societal stereotypes in its recommendation. For example, it recommends computer science to male and nursing to female on Facebook and recommends ex executive occupation to male and co customer service to female. We investigated uh, gender bias in social media based collaborative filtering in this work. We develop a practical solution to mitigate gender bias and achieve better performance and fairness compared to an array of state of the art baseline models. The main limitation of our approach is that it is designed and evaluate for a single protected attribute. In future work, we plan to address this limitation with an adversarial network included in the fine tuning step. Um, by making the recommendations independent from the multiple protected attributes simultaneously. So that's it. Uh, thank you and please feel free to ask any questions.